six predicted questions with answers for paper two, AQA GCSE chemistry exam 2024, part two. Question one, the graph shows the boiling point of different hydrocarbon with the different number of carbon atom in the chain. Explain the trend shown in the graph. To answer this, we can see that the higher the number of carbon atom in the chain, the higher the boiling point. So the increase in the number of carbon atom um, and the increase in the chain length causes higher intermolecular forces of attraction between the molecule. So higher energy would be needed to break these bonds and higher boiling points for the chain. Question two states how you would expect the flammability of hydrocarbons to change with the increased number of carbon atom in the chain. So we know that flammability decreases with the increase in the number of carbon atom in the chain of the hydrocarbon. Question three, explain why complete combustion is preferred over incomplete combustion in industry. The answer is that the only product for complete combustion are carbon dioxide and water. However, incomplete combustion will produce carbon monoxide, which is a toxic gas and can cause suffocation. Also, it might produce the carbon particulate, which causes respiratory problem and global dimming. Question four, describe a test for sulfate ion and include an ionic equation in your answer. So the answer, the test is the barium chloride test. and that test, we add dilute hydrochloric acid to the solution, and then we add barium chloride solution. The result is a formation of a white precipitate of barium sulfate. The ionic equation is barium ion as aqueous because it's soluble, and sulfate ion as aqueous. That will give you barium sulfate as solid because it's a precipitate. Question five, give two advantages of instrumental methods of analysis over experimental methods. There are three main advantages of using of the instrumental analysis. The first one that it's faster, it's more accurate, and it's more sensitive. Question six, explain how the use of fuel in cars would impact the population of fish or impact the aquatic ecosystem. The answer is that fuel contains sulfur in addition to carbon and hydrogen and burning fuel will produce carbon uh, sulfur oxides. Also, the high temperature in the engine will cause nitrogen and oxygen from air to react together to produce nitrogen oxides. So both nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides dissolve in rainwater and cause acid rain. The acid rain will reduce the pH of water and impact the population of fish and the aquatic uh, ecosystem. 